Severe weather can happen in any month of the year in the state of Indiana, but during March, the National Weather Service conducts Severe Weather Preparedness Week. We also have the statewide tornado drill, and it's a great time of year to practice what you would do at work, at home, if you're on the road, in the event of severe weather. Let's start with the difference between a watch and a warning. A watch usually lasts several hours, includes portions of perhaps several states. You do get several hours of advance notice and your action is to remember your plan. However, when a warning is issued, the warning lasts 20 minutes to maybe an hour, most likely includes portions of only a couple of counties. Your advanced warning can only be a couple of minutes and your action plan is to take cover. Let's talk about the difference between a severe thunderstorm watch and a severe thunderstorm warning. In a watch, we haven't had severe weather yet and you don't need to take shelter immediately. On the other hand, if it's a warning, we have had reports of severe weather and you do need to take shelter immediately. So the question is, in a watch and a warning in terms of severe thunderstorms, do you have time to plan? In a watch, yes. In a warning, no. Should I monitor weather conditions closely? The answer to both of those is yes. Let's dig into the difference between a tornado watch and a tornado warning. For a watch, has it been uh, reported or indicated? No, not yet. Do you need to take shelter immediately? No, not yet. But once the warning is issued, that means it's been radar indicated or we have reports of a tornado and you do need to take action immediately and take shelter immediately. Do you have time to plan? In a watch, yes. Again, in a warning, no. Do you need to monitor weather conditions closely in both the watch and the warning? Yes. How about staying safe in severe weather, especially when we're talking about uh, tornadoes? A mobile home, large open rooms, vehicles under an overpass, those are all considered unsafe and you want to find another option. Importantly here, if you're on the road or you live in a mobile home park, make sure you find something that's sturdy. If you're in, say, uh, a gymnasium, uh, maybe of a school, you need to find a room that is in the interior part of that school that doesn't have windows and doors and is a little smaller. What's more safe, interior room or of a well-constructed home or building, and you want to stay in that place. The most safe is a basement or a tornado shelter, and we want you to stay in that place as well. Obviously, we want you to stay with the Live Doppler 13 weather team, and of course, download that Live Doppler 13 weather app as you can track the severe weather along with us, especially if you're on the go.